the idea is to save lives so just as humans have lives and animals have lives plants also have their own lives right just because we are not seeing them suffering or crying or whatever we are just ignoring the fact that we can also kill them and you know we can ha i mean we can consume them so that's my question like how is it equating to saving lives sure, fair enough so first things first is veganism does not mean saving lives it basically means not exploiting animals anymore so veganism is an animal rights movement just like how human rights does not contain has nothing nothing to do with animals right women's rights has nothing to do with men animal rights is veganism has nothing to do with plants it's not about life it's only about animals so within and when i speak about veganism i speak only about animal rights and not life in general okay number 2 is that we have to understand the difference between a sentient life and an insentient life a sentient life is one that's capable of feeling pain and suffering and can feel in this world like us human beings and animals if you notice we humans are mammals that fall under the animal kingdom right whereas plants fall under the plant kingdom they're completely different form of different life forms which do not possess a brain or a nervous system or any organs which helps them perceive this world for example you in order to see you need to have a brain with their ocular receptors a brain with gustatory receptors olfactory receptors sonar receptors tactile receptors right in if you don't have these organs you cannot see or smell or taste or hear or touch to give you an example if i kept a rose plant here right now and i told you that this plant has kidney stones would you believe me you wouldn't believe me because the first thing you'll ask me is rose plant having kidney stones where is the kidneys they don't have kidneys right similarly if i told you that this rose plant has a heart attack would you believe me no because to have a heart attack you have to have a heart fair enough this logic so far is similarly in order to feel pain and suffering you need to have a brain that's connected to a nervous system to various different organs if you do not have those brains or the organs then you cannot suffer So let me just finish it. This goes for animals as well. Not all animals can feel pain and suffering. Jellyfish don't have a brain. Clams don't have a brain. So killing them is not the same as killing a cow or killing a human. But what I'm trying to put forth is that harming animals, the farmed animals that we are doing right now, is no different from farming a human because we are biologically the same. Plants definitely are alive. Not arguing at all on that. But they are not sentient. That's my point here. Yeah. So assuming that we have a heart, we have a mind. which makes us feel things and you know to sense suffering or whatever it is um so we are assuming things that you know humans have this 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 qualities therefore uh, they are eligible to feel suffering and plants do not are not in a position to feel suffering so it's just human mind and our assumptions which are coming into play and that is why we are just segregating things into categories may i comment yeah. on that yeah. sure so it's not just human opinion if i can just for a moment make a small drawing over here because you this is you I'll, and all of us i'll draw right now watch this this is all of us in this room very bad drawing i know very bad i know that yes but wait does this kind of can you guess what this is at all okay i'll show you just a second i get it this guys guys this is a brain this is a brain all of us basically so basically all of us in this room right now are a brain which has eyes has a spinal column and has an exoskeleton what we have is our hands and feet and everything is an exoskeleton right now but basically this is what we are this is us this is the individual because this is where everything takes place your thoughts your emotions your cognition your the way you perceive and see and feel this world all takes place only here if the if someone does not have this or someone let's say passes away and it stops working then it doesn't exist anymore you agree right someone who doesn't have a brain cannot feel pain and suffering someone who's dead cannot perceive this world only those with a brain can so we need another kind of ideology to save plants like for example veganism is all about saving animals right of course yes. so we need another ideology to save plants for that matter so first of all why do you want to save plants because they have lives okay they are also the part of the ecosystem of course they have lives but my question is then microbes also have life bacteria has life fungi has life yeah. so where do we draw the line so that's what so exact asking so we draw the line at sentience So you, you ask me where I draw the line. The line is clearly drawn here, not this diagram, obviously. But the point that at sentience, the moment that someone feels pain and suffering, the moment that they're capable of suffering, there is no point for me not to take that suffering into consideration if I'm in a position where I can very easily solve that. Here I just have to change what I eat. It's quickly solved. It's over. So that's the point.